Now, by now, we've all seen the photos of Rihanna and ASAP Rocky's baby. And now Hollywood <clears throat> unlocks Jason Lee is spilling the tea and how he got the exclusive. Jason Lee wrote, Yesterday, she FaceTimed me to tell me the paparazzi took unauthorized photos of their baby and planned to release them. So she said if anyone was going to put it out, she wanted me to do it. He continued, she wanted black media to be the one to do it since she wasn't going to be given a choice. He added, I wish more people thought about the black media like this. What do y'all think about Rihanna wanting black media to get the first release images of the baby? Q, let's start with you on this one. You know what? I love it. I absolutely love it. I hate the fact that paparazzi robbed her and ASAP of their privacy and their right to maybe do the big spread the way, the, the way they may have wanted to present their baby to the world. But you know what? I am glad that she had a relationship with Jason Lee and that she prioritized Hollywood Unlocked or Black media per se uh, over giving it to people or or, or uh, the other big tabloids that they send it to. So shouts out to Jason Lee for his relationships and shouts out to Rihanna for not just speaking about it, but actually being about it. I love Rihanna. She could do no wrong. Al, what do you think about this? This is what I'm talking about, Rihanna. Let me tell you, there were so many things about this that excited me, right? Number one is that this is a step in the right direction for A-list celebrities like Rihanna saying, look, we're going to start to give black media the attention that they deserve. And I'm excited because maybe we will start seeing more A-listers following her lead and stop at places on red carpets where black media have their cameras or where they have their recorders and, and, and trying to do coverage. The second thing I loved about this was, did you guys see that the majority of the pictures that they put out were with ASAP Rocky? It was so good to see that even though they are not married, that he has definitely a strong presence in that young man's life. That really won my heart to see that she wanted to be very clear that, that you know, the father is there. Now, the only thing that was really concerning about this to me was the fact that they were saying that Jason Lee and and unlocked and and there was other pictures online um, when Jason Lee was at the White House talking about black media coverage that Jason Lee in fact is not really black media that concerned me because why are we now saying because a person is biracial that they're not real black that was of grave concern to me and that was the only thing in this story that really caused pause for me that is frustrating and as someone that has an Italian mother I hear that a lot and I'm like but my heart is with my 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 black side, uh, like I, and I feel like when you take that away, it's like it's slap in the face. We already get that from the racist white side, not all white whites are racist, but the ones that are, we get it from that. And to kind of kick you to the curb and say you're not black enough, you can't sit with us when you love your community, you love being black. I, I and, and if you're and if you're actually pro black and going for us, why not? You know, we're so quick to give white folks that kind of appropriate some of our culture, that a white R&B singer, we'd be all up on it, supporting them and everything. But when one of our own who's biracial does something, we want to take away and then and have a purity test. And I I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think we should be doing that. We should be proud of our half black, quarter black and, and full black people that accomplish great things. Like, what's wrong with that? Mm -hmm. 